Hey, what's up, Funkheads? I think just about everybody can agree that the Joker is maybe the best comic book villain of all time. And he doesn't even have superpowers. He's just a psychotic, murderous terrorist, pretty much. And he can be pretty damn funny. Funko has made a whole bunch of Joker pops, and they've all been pretty great. But these are my top five favorite ones. But first, I want to get a couple of honorable mentions out of the way. Jared Leto's version of the Joker is not everybody's cup of tea. He might be the most hated version of the Joker. I didn't think he was so bad, and I do think the pops of him look pretty good. And out of all of them, I think the Tuxedo Joker is the coolest looking one. The only reason I didn't put him in the top five is because I think his face should have been a little bit more white. It's kind of flesh colored. And I would have liked maybe, I don't know, him holding a cell phone or his machine gun a little better than this pose, but it's still pretty cool. The bank robber Joker from The Dark Knight is a really cool pop, and he's actually kind of pricey. I believe he's around $110 right now on Pop Price Guide. So if you don't already have him, he might be out of your reach. But he is a really cool pop, and definitely my favorite Joker. But I didn't put him in the top five because it is Joker wearing a mask, and I wanted to keep the top five pretty pure. So no Joker Batmans, or Joker Freddy Funkos, or anything like that. And also, no masked bank robber Joker. The Joker from the animated series, voiced by Mark Hamill, is one of the best, funniest versions of the Joker. So I was really happy when I saw the glam for the animated series Joker because he did turn out really good and is instantly recognizable as that version of the Joker. I really like the way his hair looks, the colors on his suit, and that big smile and his eyebrows arcing up like that look really, really good. The Heath Ledger Joker for me is more frightening than any horror movie villain, real life villain, or anything. He was extremely menacing, and the thought of being in a room alone with him is horrifying. They did a good job with his look. The lines on the forehead, they painted them flesh color, which is perfect because it does make it look like part of his paint is kind of flaking off where he furrows his brow. That was a really good detail. And I do like that they have a little slit for his mouth, where most Funko Pops don't have mouths. But Funko did a good job on pretty much giving every single Joker a mouth because his smile is one of the most important things about his design. And I really like the card too, although it would have been great if they would have made like, I don't know, some kind of chase variant or exclusive where he was holding a pencil. That would have made this pop just excellent. The old Batman TV show was goofy as all hell. But I used to watch it all the time as a teenager and in college because I saw it as a total comedy. Like, it was one of those so cheesy and bad it was good shows. And Cesar Romero's Joker was no exception. Although when you see still pictures of Cesar Romero's Joker, he does look pretty creepy. Like a party clown that just lost his mind. But the actual performance and storylines were goofy as hell. That said, I do think this is one of the best Jokers. I like that they actually sculpted in that mustache that Cesar Romero refused to shave. And they got his mouth paint just right. And the sculpt in general is really nice. But what I like about this one is the metallic paint job on it. This version was exclusive to the Dallas Comic Con in 2013. And he's pretty pricey now. He's around 120 bucks on Pop Price Guide. And there doesn't seem to be that many of this guy available online. So you might even have a hard time finding it at that price. But yeah, this metallic version of the Cesar Romero Joker is pretty eye-catching. This bombshell Joker is the newest Joker on this list, but he is one of the best. Probably one of the best sculpted Funko Pops out there with a really good paint job and really great color selection. And I love all the little details like the joker on the hat, the little flower, the buttons on the pants, the little patch, his purple gloves, the little kisses. They look so good. There's a black, white, and red chase variant of this, but I do think that the common looks better. And I think I'm not the only one because even this common was pretty hard to find when it was released. You can still find it for fairly cheap online, but I do feel as time goes by, this guy's going to become pretty expensive.
This probably comes as no surprise, but in my opinion, I think the Killing Joke Joker is the best Joker pop out there. He's from the classic story written by Alan Moore. Definitely one of the darkest Joker comic books I've ever read. Definitely recommend it if you haven't yet. It's not a very expensive book. It's pretty thin. It's a fast read. But that story will stick with you for a while. This was a New York Comic Con exclusive. But he wasn't terribly hard to find. And you can still get him online for relatively cheap. About 25 to 30 bucks. I just love that psychotic look on his face. How colorful he is. They even did the glass in a way where it really does look like it's full of liquid. And the details on his camera are really nice. And I have this pot myself. And when you look at it in person, it has one of the cleanest paint jobs I've ever seen on a Funko Pop. This Killing Joke Joker is definitely an out-of-the-box pop. Alright guys, that's my top 5 Joker Funko Pops. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Which pop you think should be number 1. Which Joker pop you think I should have put on this list or even in the honorable mentions. Thanks for watching and take it easy. Poor Harley. This caper's been kind of rough on you, hasn't it? Uh-huh. Cheer up! You can be my very own little mermaid. Oh. <laughs> You're really sick, you know that, boss? Hmm.